Well, good morning from Hong Kong. All right, I'm over on my mate's boat. It's a 46.6 Bertram sports fisher. And what we're doing is I'm, I'm putting in a watering system for his batteries. Now, we've just put these batteries in uh, this last fishing season. And uh, it's, it, we're just busy doing so much other stuff um, that th these watering systems would be the best thing for him. What they are is this is the 32 volt bank, and there's a, um, a 12 volt bank, so it's uh, two 6 volts in, in uh, series, and then another two in series, and then in two in parallel. So we've got a series parallel connection. But we're putting in the watering system here too. Sorry if the, the gen set's a little bit too loud. It's down here on, on below deck. So, but what it is, as you can see, there's these little white markers. Well, there's a float. Well, here's how it works. Down here, I've got this, this end. And it, it's, a, it's a plastic water line, low pressure. It comes up, comes to a T. Got the T here. So one line comes over here and it feeds these eight cells and then from this T comes around goes over and it feeds these eight cells so this is one battery bank because it's uh, four eight volts in series make 32 volt so but as you can see I just watered it and these it has a white little knob that's right here an indicator so we know that it's full and all you have to do is connect it using this device, uh, here's your quick connect that goes down to there. And here's your siphon tube. So you take this end, you put it into a gallon of distilled water, start, excuse me, start pumping, and it fills them up. And what it is, it's a really simple little device. Because all you do is you take off, like these are USA battery. Same type of connectors on the Trojans, except these just happen to be all, it's a quick release for the whole set. Um, we've got the other ones, that's the 8 volt cells that are right there. But anyway, what is, so you take that off and you put these in, these pop right in. But there's a little float, this little white thing down at the bottom there. See that? That's the float. And if you look at, here's your indicator there. So if I press up on the float, there we go, the indicator's on. There it's off. There it's up. So we know it's full. And that's just it. So once a month, you come down and you look in here and if you don't see these white indicators you connect this device to it squeeze the bulb squeeze that bulb right there siphons it out fills them up so we've got one set for the 32 volt um, starboard I'm um, gonna have a full set for the uh, for the 12 volt that runs all the nav gear and our radios and all the other 12 volt kit and that, then over on the port side I haven't got to it too much craps in the way but down below there there's the other 32 volt back there part of our 32 volt system back here but that is the watering system and now I'll go into more detail I'll go into more detail um, once once uh, I install the kit on the battery so I got to build the box for on the Bigfoot so I just wanted to show you that these watering systems are brilliant they are so simple and they got water or uh, rubber fittings it's just a wonderful device to make sure your batteries are always watered for lead acid and I need lead acid on the Bigfoot because I've got the two 600 watt wind turbines and I need that cushion I gotta have that cushion so anyway that is what's going on what I'm doing today and I wanted to show you this battery watering system you can see here's all the diagrams how you can connect them but we'll, I'll just kinda go in more detail but I just wanted to show you guys how cool these little watering gadgets were they're not that cheap, but they are worth every penny because they will keep your batteries always full when after you gas out, and that and you'll never have to have you will never have a dry cell, and that is the key. All right, guys, be good, be safe, be well. Bye bye. All right, well, hello again from Hong Kong. As you can see, 32 volt banks doing really well. Got 36.3 on the port, 36.2 on the starboard. Got 13.9 float, 13.8 float on the 12 volt. Gen sets running. And that down here. Let me get down here. So what we've got here is now I've got I've got this bulb connected, 
I, my mate just went to grab some more distilled water. As you can see, these have not come all the way up. That, but over here, as you can see, all of them are full. I've got, there's my two connecting points right down there. So now it's just, again, as the song goes, Mama's got a squeeze box, Daddy doesn't sleep at night. Thing is, it's no longer looking through each and every cell. It is just connecting at one point and then just a visual look for these little indicators. Life is good. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Just keeping your batteries maintained and keeping good distilled water into them. Checking uh, every once in a while, going taking your hydrometer to it, checking out the actual gravity to them. These batteries will last forever as long as you take care of them. All right, guys, be good, be safe, and always be well. Bye-bye. Oh, and I know some of you are going to be curious about, because it's a fishing boat, there's some flies. There's port side rods and reels. No. Yeah, port side rods and reels. Starboard rods and reels. And for the big ones, over there we got uh, dual leads, um, dual lead 800 pounds, 800 pound toss. Ah, it's for the big marlins. That's for the big marlins. Marlins and sailfish. Anyway, I got her gas. Got some other stuff. But anyway, I knew your question. Uh, that's what goes on on a Bertram. Yellowfin tuna. Name that fish. Mahi Mahi. There we go, the black marlin. There we go. Fishing. And always stay hydrated when you go fishing. Always stay hydrated. All right, be good, be safe, be well. Bye-bye.